Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're going to talk about what flow connections are. Within every flow, there needs to be a connection to the apps that the flow is using. Let's look at one example here to illustrate that point. I've got a flow here called save Gmail attachments to your Google Drive. So as you can imagine, that flow is going to need a connection to Gmail and Google Drive, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't have the permission to move the attachment from the email to the drive. So let's have a look inside of this flow and you can see what the connections look like. If I click on this flow to open it up, it takes me to the profile page. And this is where you can see all the configuration of the flow. Over here on the right hand side, we've got this connection section. This tile here shows me what connections are being made to the two apps that are involved in the flow, which are Gmail and Google Drive. So let's create a new flow and you can see how the connections are made. This time I'm logged in as Office 365 user Megan. So when I choose a template, this one's going to save Office 365 email attachments to OneDrive for Business. And I click on it and you can see the connections are made in the context of the person that's logged in already. I've got Megan logged in to Outlook and OneDrive already. So I don't need to do anything. I just hit create flow and the connections are made for me. And once I go through, you can see up here on the connections tile, I've got the two connections already made. I can also go to the see all link, which will show me the connections in use in this flow. And from here, I can also remove those connections if I need to. These are the connections for this particular flow. I can also manage the connections across all of my flows. If I choose this manage connections link, it's going to take me to the manage connections page and I can see all the different connections I have across all the flows that I've already got in place. This allows me to select and delete the connection if I need to. It allows me to switch the account or create a new connection as well. It will also give me details on what flows that connection is associated with. So if I take this Megan one here and choose details, it will take me to a new page where it shows me what connections that account has. It gives me an overview of the account details and then shows me which apps and flows this connection is linked to. You can see this is linked to my save email attachments to OneDrive flow. Okay, so that's the high level on connections in Microsoft Flow. I hope this video helped. And if you like it, please subscribe to the channel because it really helps us. See you next time.